Good morning. My name is Ralph Freaks. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. One day, I woke up early in the morning to watch the sunrise, which I do pretty much every morning. But, ah, the beauty of God's creation is beyond description, I said. As I watched, I praised God for his beautiful work. As I just sat there, I felt the Lord's presence with me. He asked me, do you love me? I answered, of course, Lord. You are my Lord and my Savior. Then he asked, if you were physically handicapped, would you still love me? I was perplexed by that question. I looked down upon my arms, my legs, and the rest of my body, and wondered how many things I wouldn't be able to do, and thought about the things that I take for granted. I answered to God, it would be tough, Lord, but I would still love you. Well, then the Lord said to me, if you were blind, would you still love my creation that you look at every single morning? How could I love something without being able to see it? Then I thought of all the blind people in the world and how many of them still loved God and his creation. So I answered, Lord, it's hard to think about that, but I would still love you. You see where I'm going with this? The Lord then asked me, if you were deaf, would you still listen to my word? Well, how could I listen to anything? Being deaf, I said to myself. Then I understood. Listening to God's word is not merely using your uh, ears, but our hearts. I answered, it would be tough, Lord, but I would still listen to your word. The Lord then asked me, if you are mute, would you still praise my name? How could I praise without a voice? Hmm. Then it uh, dawned on me. God wants us to sing from our hearts and our souls. It's ne it never matters what we sound like. And praising God is not always with a song, but when we are persecuted, we give God praise with our words of thanks. So I answered, Though I could not physically sing, I would still praise your name, Lord. And the Lord asked me, Do you really, really love me? Hmm. With courage and a strong conviction, I answered boldly, Yes, Lord, I love you because you are the one and true God. I thought I had answered well, but God asked me, Then why do you sin? I answered, Because I am only human. I am not perfect. Then, my, uh, then why in times of peace do you stray the furthest. Why only in times of trouble do you pray the earnest? I had no answers, only tears rolling down my cheeks. The Lord continued, Why only sing at fellowships and at retreats? Why seek me only in times of worship? Why ask things so selfishly? Why ask things so unfaithfully? The tears continue to roll down my cheeks. Why are you ashamed of me, the Lord asked. Why are you not spreading the good news? Why in times of persecution you cry to others when I offer my shoulder uh, to cry on? Why make excuses when I give you opportunities to serve in my name? You are blessed. You are blessed with life. I made you not to throw this gift away. I have blessed you with talents to serve me, but you continue to turn away. I have revealed my word to you, but you do not gain in knowledge. I have spoken to you, but your ears were closed. I have shown my blessings to you, but your eyes were turned the other way. <clears throat> I have heard your prayers, and I have answered them all. So I ask you again, do you truly love me? I could not answer. 
How could I? I was embarrassed beyond belief. I had no excuse. What could I say to this? When my heart had cried out and the tears had flowed, I said, Please forgive me, Lord. I am unworthy to be your child. The Lord answered, That is my grace, my child. I asked, Then why do you continue to forgive me? Why do you love me so much? The Lord answered, Because you are my creation. You are my child. I will never abandon you. When you cry, I will have compassion and cry with you. When you shout with joy, I will laugh with you. When you are down, I will encourage you. When you fall, I will raise you up. When you are tired, I will carry you. I will be with you until the end of days, and I will love you forever. Never have I cried so much before. How could I have been so cold? How could I have hurt God as I have done? I asked God, how much do you love me? The Lord stretched out his mighty arms and I saw his nail-pierced hands. I bowed down at the feet of Christ, my Savior, and for the first time, I truly prayed. Call me at 844-405-HELP. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their day and their life. Ask the Lord, how much do you love me? He will answer you. As much as I created you. A whole miracle on earth. That's how much I love you. May God bless you and we'll talk to you tomorrow and take good care. And remember, God truly.